perfect for knocking bits of the cell phone. Now, every cell in your body has an amazing capacity to repair the... Welcome to this uh, short presentation on radiotherapy. My name's Martin Christie. I work for the University of Oxford at, and in the Department of Oncology. So I work for the bit of the University of Oxford that's responsible for doing cancer research. We have, a, like most people, we have specialisms, places where we're better at it than you know, places where we, we focus our efforts. And one of the places where we focus our efforts is on radiotherapy, on the development of the physics and application of, of X-rays and other forms of radiation to curing cancer. And that's what we're going to have a look at today. Seeds of radiation into a tumor. We, we can deliver radioactive drugs, but the workhorse of cancer, uh, cancer therapy is external beam radiotherapy. So we're going to have a patient here, and this machine is able to deliver uh, a stream of x-rays, a stream of these little light particle cannonballs to the patient's tumor and knock bits out of the DNA. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's have a look at x-ray beam, external x-ray beam radiotherapy. And let's go back to the idea of this cannonball aimed at a castle wall because we have got a little bit of a problem. When we fire a cannon at a castle wall, the cannon dumps a bunch of energy into the cannonball, the cannonball starts flying. The cannonball flies across the field, and eventually the cannonball will hit the castle wall. All the energy will be deposited into the outside brick or the block of the castle wall, and that brick will be damaged and fall over, fall, up, fall off the castle wall, and we've left with a hole, which is kind of what we wanted to do. So if we keep firing that cannon, this hole's going to get bigger and bigger until the hole wall falls down, and we, we can send in the people to take the castle. Unfortunately, weird stuff happens when you get really tiny. The photons, the x-ray bits, the little packets of energy that come out of an x-ray gun are so small that they're entitled to behave a bit weirdly. So if we fire this gun, out comes a little packet of energy. The packet of energy flies through the air towards the patient. But instead of hitting and knocking bits out of the first brick it encounters, it can knock energy out of maybe the third brick it encounters. And that will damage that space. It could do that, or it could knock out of the fourth brick, or the, even the last brick, which sets us a really interesting physics challenge. How can we predict where each photon, how, where each little packet of energy, each little tiny cannonball, where is it going to do the damage? Because if I'm trying to treat somebody, I really want to know where that damage is going to happen. I cannot have it just going anywhere. The buttons here. Uh, there's the other button. There's the wheel in the middle that you, that you would use to scroll. There's the, uh, there's the cable. I haven't yet progressed to Wi-Fi mouses. Uh, or mice, even, I suppose. And this is the... Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that this little semicircle here is a tumor. And I'm going, to ask, I'm going to ask the computer to simulate what happens if I shine billions of photons. We're going to do this Monte Carlo modeling and ask what happens if I send a beam in there to knock out that tumor. So here's a beam. It's coming from the top. Just as we saw with the simulation, most of the damage is done early on. And that damage fades away until the beam leaves the, the patient. And there you can see that little uh, half circle tumor. It's getting a, a decent dose. We'd like it to be a bit more. That, that's not a bad